Hey everyone, Mr. Alman8 here, with a What If segment. What if Kendo survived? This is quite a popular one, and while there is a mod that explores that possibility, plus the remake has a DLC of him going around on a survival mission. The thing is, they really don't completely answer the questions. Because in the Kendo mod, it has a ridiculous outcome, and last time I checked, time travel has never been a thing in Resident Evil. As for the RE2 remake DLC Ghost Survivors, remake Kendo doesn't work the same way as his original counterpart. Mainly because the dramatic add-ons don't fit with what we are talking about. Though the family drama could happen before we enter the gun store. That said, these two examples can give us an idea as to how this what if could be played out. Speaking of context, for those who are unfamiliar on the subject, in RE2, one of the protagonists enter a gun store and meets one gun shop owner, Robert Kendo. And one dialogue later, the windows break and the zombies caught Kendo off guard and killed slash devoured him. So with that out of the way, what if this time he survived? Well, in order for that to happen, the protagonist, Leon or Claire, might have to help Kendo maybe shoot down the zombie that Kendo knew, as well as Kendo helping himself. Once Kendo mows down the zombies, he would likely be devastated, but could help the protagonist later on in the game. Kendo could be a precursor to the merchant, minus the money. Also, if that's the case, and if it's at the shop, the protagonist would have to go all the way to the store to get some more ammo. Of course, he could later leave the store. Might be because he got a call from Barry. And like Barry, Kendo could show up through different parts of the game, and he would give you the odd weapon or two. Kendo could also help out fending off the zombies from time to time. And while he could be killed at any point of the game, we will be looking at the best case scenario here. That said, he may disappear at some point in the game. Sure, Kendo could tag along with the RE2 cast on the train, but a lot could happen between Kendo's survival and the train leaving to Raccoon City. An alternate ending could involve Kendo pulling a fake out death, or something like that. This would be due to getting another call from his friend Barry, and thus could lead to Kendo looking for the copter. Then after that, Barry needs to make one more stop to rescue Jill in RE3. It also means that Kendo might meet Jill at the end of the game. And even if the Barry ending to RE3 isn't canon, well, neither is Kendo surviving, so no big deal there. And it is plausible. Meaning, we could have Kendo disappear in RE2 and reappear in RE3. Another thing that could be expanded upon is after the RE2 survivors escape Raccoon City, they may get picked up by Barry's copter with Jill and Kendo inside. With Kendo notifying the existence of the RE2 survivors. In conclusion, Kendo could last not only up to RE2, but also RE3, since they are set in the same night. And he may or may not do much after he survives. And if we follow the nature of the games, we may get alternate endings. And that was the segment of What If Kendo Survived.